Hey guys, Alex from Online Tarot with your monthly forecast and this video is for Taurus's Sun sign in Western Astrology, Moon and Rising sign in Eastern Vedic Astrology. This is your forecast for May 2020. Uh, we have your general energy, the beginning of the month, changes that are coming to you in May, challenges that you will be facing in May, your energy in the end of month, your love life and money. So before i start the usual reminder this is a general reading so take what resonates leave the rest to other people if it's not your message check out my other videos uh and or maybe other channels on youtube there are a lot of amazing readers out there if it is your message however please let me know by hitting the like button subscribing staying tuned for more and for those of you who are in need of a private reading the information how to get one with me is down below in the description box so let's see your general energy ooh, ooh, Tauruses you are just moving forward the chariot and the eight of wands uh, a lot of action this is not typical for you but maybe you've been preparing for it uh, for a long time so you're moving forward you are active you're doing things and it feels like there may be some time sensitive things here but the general energy here is movement and you are in control of things Well, this is typical of, of you overthinking and worrying, worrying, worrying about things. So in the beginning of the month, you will be starting something, um, something long term, a project, a relationship, or maybe a new business, finding a new job, something you will be worrying about. But again, worrying, but moving, moving, but worrying. Okay, let's see more. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, you're starting something big, you're starting something that you really wanted, you're starting something, but though you're worrying, this will be something that you really, really love. Again, we will see now whether it's your money or relationship-wise. You've been thinking about it, you've thought about it, and kind of, you have a very clear vision where you're going and what you are, uh, want to achieve here. It's kind of, I feel like this is what you've been through already with the Hermit, Two of Wands and the Death card. You've been through a lot of doubt. Or maybe in the beginning of the month, you will be doubting. You will be doubting. You will be going slowly. You will be driving yourself crazy before uh, moving forward, like, completely. Because it feels like you are, I don't know, planning. And you need to plan everything. Or you need to build a road for... For your army to go quick and directly to uh, their destination. So you're preparing your final launch. Knight of Cups, definitely. And uh, you're being followed by an inspiration or by your heart, by your intuition. And uh, you are on the right track. Okay, let's see what changes, what's going to be changing for you. You will start seeing... Okay two things will be changing for you. first of all you will start seeing a better future for yourself mm. maybe a new opportunity again something that you didn't see before something brighter something better something more beneficial for you and on the other hand and i don't even want to clarify it i <laughs> take any more cards because very good energy on the other hand uh you've been wait okay it's the three things i'm getting uh, you've been waiting for this future to come to you, but now you're taking control and you are going there. You are creating this future that you wanted, maybe that, that you haven't even dared to want. You didn't even dare to want this future. Now you are on the way to it. And the third thing that I'm getting here... Instead of just sitting and waiting for, like, postponing your life that someday I will have this education or this, this amount of money or this or that, then I will be happy. You are choosing to be happy now. So, a lot of changes. Wow. Wow, Tauruses. Let's see. What will be your challenge? Hmm. The challenge will be to choose the right track it seems like whatever you want to get we have the seven of cups the star and the hierophant here whatever you want to get there are different ways to achieve it 
and you will be choosing the right path, the right way to uh, to get what you want to get. Anything else about the challenges? Your message is loud and clear, really. Hmm. Yeah, guys. So this is B. Again, no judgment on my side. It's just you will have different ways. Different. Some of them may be not very honest. Some of them may be not very legal. And you will be choosing what to do to to do right the right thing or to get more money by acting maybe not um not fully legally or not fully correctly or acting behind someone's back so there will be some illegal or maybe not very honest ways for you to reach what you want to reach or get what you want to get and um, there will be some confusion and some decisions about the means of getting what you want and it will be challenging to do the right thing so the hierophant will be your challenge to do the right thing Ooh. let's check your love like oh yeah baby we have the ace of cups again Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, the King of Cups. Love, love, love. Love is all around you, Taurus. is just... Wow. So, let's see more about this King of Cups. Whether it's... Ooh. Four of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay. So, it feels like... One more yeah uh two options if you are in a relationship already uh you have a family or a committed connection with somebody we have the king of cups the four of wands six of cups maybe you have even you even have kids and ace of cups and ten of cups this is the family vibe here if you are in a relationship already you will be worrying about something about maybe some information or about third party or about something here and you will be carefully gathering information about something mm, trying to protect your heart but because these cards are so super positive but you are there like maybe um so somehow you're gonna have a doubt in 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 the person who claims to love you or who is already your partner and secondly if there is a new person coming to you most probably this is somebody from your past uh, again, if it's a new person coming to you and offering love or offering to move in, uh, again, there are two options. Either this person has hurt you in the past or you had an experience that is making you being cautious. Maybe this person speaks a lot because this is like super positive. Maybe they just say, I, I love you so bad. Let's move in together. And you're like, you know what? I got to protect my heart from being broken so i need more information we are taking it slow i'm gathering information so overall you're gathering information about somebody who claims to love you so much and uh who wants to be with you maybe having kids with you or just want to have it all with you at least they're saying this let's ask one more question for you tauruses So, is your person honest? Can you trust them? Can you trust this King of Cups? Oh. So there's still definitely there was something that made you uh, cautious. There was something. You're not imagining things. There was something. But they claim that it was in the past. So it's either a person who hurt you in the past. Or somebody you are currently with. But you, you have a reason. Maybe they've cheated and you forgave them. Something like this. You've been through this for sure. You've been through this. I can't say for everybody if you can trust your person, for, but you definitely had a reason to uh, get more information, so gather more information. But remember with this Queen of Swords, be cool, be careful, because for some of you it's just the past. You've been through this before. For, for, for others, it may um, be um, a repetition of the situation, okay? 
I can't really tell. For everybody, please remember it's a general reading, so be careful, be cool, and check all the facts before making a choice or go to a trusted reader for a private reading to be sure because again i can't really say here um whether it's just the past or a person is doing it again so let's move to pile number two or oh, pile number two it's not pile, pile. financial situation finances we have two of swords and the six of wands uh some success is coming your way so there was a period of stagnation there is um currently or it may be in the beginning of may but with the six of wands you're gonna yeah definitely it will be a time of stagnation oh because we're all in, in quarantine right now but then things are going to turn around 360 degree maybe in the middle of may or till closer to the end of it and you are definitely either going to find this idea yeah find a way to get to the to what you want you you are going to be moving to some amazing success and you will be the inspiration of this success right king of wands and the queen of wands maybe you're working with somebody by the way maybe you have a partner and you just mm, seeing eye to eye you, you just have a similar vision similar understanding and you're just just on fire with your money everything's gonna be good or it will start to be good let's see Ooh, your energy in the end of in the end of may facing june you will be focusing on your money you you will be kind of yeah so your focus will be with your finances because with everything else you will have to uh, take some time to figure things out, to gather more information, to think it through. And most probably you will be hiding what, what you are gathering information about. You will be maybe distancing yourself from this person for a while uh, on the pretense that you are very busy. Well, you will be busy. You will be busy. Five of Swords and Five of Pentacles. And the Tower. And again the Tower so yeah something will be happening uh, you will be gathering information maybe you will be even fighting with this person but mostly you will be focusing on creating your money building money maybe restoring your business or building a new business <sighs> and most probably you will be kind of hiding this inside this information that is kind of the tower and the knight of swords and the five of swords energy so gather it but check all the facts but you Taurus you don't make hasty decisions right anyway so i wish you all the best i hope this information won't hurt you a lot so best of luck to you guys uh at least with finances you're on the right track and with your mood with your energy you're on the right track and we all have some well currently everybody's struggling one way or the other the whole world and uh, i wish you all the best hold on there and have a great day have a great month have a great life hope to see you soon bye